What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get iOS 5 on your device right now. No betas, you don't have to be a developer, and it is free. Let's get started. So this is the final version of iOS 5, uh, the GM or Gold Mastered build. Uh, I did not upload any of these files and I have not tested this on Windows. So if you are a Windows user, uh, do this very cautiously and make sure you follow all directions because you could possibly mess up your device, but it's always fixable just by restoring. Anyways, uh, let's get on to this. So again, this is the final build of iOS 5. Uh, they may release or have a small like update. Uh, just with some bug fixes or something when once iOS 5 is officially out. But as of right now, this is the official firmware that they are going to release on October 12th. Uh, but you can get it now without a developer account, without jailbreaking, uh, and it's free. So let's get started. Uh, first off, you're going to need to go to my website, uh, tiesiphonehelp.com. I'll have a link below uh, in the description, uh, the first link. Just go ahead and click it. And this is what the page uh, should look like. So here is my website, tiesiphonehelp.com, uh, and it says how to get iOS 5 for free, no developer account. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is download these firmwares, or one of the firmwares for your device. I'm actually jailbreaking my iPhone, not jailbreaking, I'm actually uh, getting iOS 5 on my iPhone 4. Uh, GSM, if you don't know the difference between GSM and CDMA, uh, as you see right here, GSM is AT&T and CDMA is Verizon so hopefully that helps you out make sure you download the correct one for your device or it's going to mess up so basically what you need to do is download uh, the, the firmware for your device so just go ahead and give it a click as I did right there go ahead and wait 20 seconds here and it will download so I'm just going to close that tab because I've already downloaded it next while that's downloading you can go ahead and start your iTunes download because you do need an iTunes beta for this so I'm, uh, I'm on Mac, so I'm going to download the iTunes beta. Uh, for Windows, here's also the links. I got 32 and 64 bits. Uh, so same thing, click on the Mac or Windows version of iTunes beta, download it, and uh, it should be fine. So once, you're, once you've got both of those downloaded and you're ready to move on to the next step, what you need to do, open up your iTunes. Actually, before you download and install iTunes, let's go ahead and sync everything up to your device just to make, make sure 100% that it's going to be fine. This does not mean... Do not restore to a backup. Do not backup your device. Do not restore to a backup once you're done restoring here in a few minutes. What you want to do is actually sync. So I want you to go to each one of these tabs, the info, apps, music, movies, TV shows, photos, etc., and actually check the boxes, and then I want you to hit the sync button. If you do not, you will probably lose everything because you're probably not going to be able to restore to a, an old backup on iOS 5. Um, in the future, you will. But as as of right now, when you're updating to this, probably not going to work. I've had some people tell me it didn't work, and they didn't follow the directions on the site. So make sure you sync everything up. Once you're done restoring, do not restore to a backup. You're going to want to manually check everything again, just like you did the first time you got your iPhone, and sync it up. That's what you want to do. Okay, now that that's clear. All right, so once iTunes is installed, you've got your firmware downloaded. Uh, I recommend saving it here at your desktop if it's not too late. Uh, just because it's easier to find. What you're going to want to do, have your device plugged up to your computer, open up iTunes, if it doesn't automatic, automatically pop up anyways, my phone will not quit going off for emails, hold the option key or shift key depending on which uh, computer you're using. I'm holding an option key and I'm going to click the restore button right here when you're on the uh, device tab in iTunes. So hold the option or shift key and click restore. Open that up and go to the firmware that you downloaded. As you see right there's the firmware that I downloaded, the iPhone 3 comma 1 blah blah blah. You hit open, hit restore, and as you see here it says iOS 5, hit restore, and then it will begin extracting the software and restoring. If you run into any errors, uh, that's why you synced it up in the first place. I, I, I pl unplugged my phone because I'm already on iOS 5. Uh, but yeah, everything should go just perfect for you. Once you're done, again, do not, I repeat, do not restore to backup. Sync everything back manually. Uh, and you should be just fine. That's, that's pretty much it. Download the firmware, download iTunes beta, uh, make sure everything's synced up, and restore. There you go, you're on iOS 5. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is a really quick, simple guide. Again, for all the download links as well as a written uh, guide, make sure you check the link in the description because that will have all the downloads and everything over there. All right, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you click the like button below. Hit the subscribe button up there for more videos like this. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.